Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Husky. Uh, it's been a little while. Thought I'd upload another tutorial. I want to thank you guys for the support on my last one. Uh, last one that had to do with uh, team editing. I'm going to show you guys today how to get a logo that the team doesn't have the PSD for. Uh, so that will be the file to edit it. So you're just going to make it yourself to make it easy on you. Uh, first thing we're going to do is pick a team. I'm going to choose ERA because uh, I've always liked their logo. Uh, so we go here, go to images. We can pick any of these. Uh, you can do this on anything, but frankly, this would be uh, the easiest one, but I'm actually not going to use that one. Uh, I'll use this one right here just to make it a little harder. Uh, all right, so we have it opened. Uh, first thing you're going to do is right click, layer from background, press OK. Now we're going to get rid of the background. There's a few ways to do this. I just like using the quick selection tool. Alright, go ahead and just highlight that. Uh, go ahead and zoom in. If you want to be more precise, you can. So, that's looking good though. Um, Go ahead and push delete. You can only see there it makes the background transparent. And you're not done yet. Go ahead and go back to a quick selection tool. Go and select the black parts. Just keep selecting, delete, select, delete. Even these little spots right here, we're going to turn down the size. Select. If you want to go further with this, yes, you do this. You don't need to really get the whole thing. I'm showing this as a tutorial, but yeah, if you were wanting to be really precise, you'd want to get everything, every little black piece, but this for the tutorial and gonna make it kind of fast. Alright. So let's say we were happy with that. Now what we would do is uh, to make it 3D. I'm going to right click the layer, go down to new 3D extrusion from selected layer. You've seen me use this tool before. Press OK. Now from here, we can use these tools up here. We can go ahead, uh, let's make sure we have it selected. We can turn it. See why they said they're discontinuing this? It's really laggy. Um, we can go here, rotate it on the axis. Rotate just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of that uh, depth. It's a little too much. That's too little, that's too much. All right, uh, so now what we're going to do is, uh, let's go ahead and right click. Oh, one more thing you wanna do. You don't have to do this, but I always do it. Uh, go ahead, click the selection tool, and uh, you're going to go over right here. We're going to click that. So you're going to want to click the front part of it, that's the 2D. Uh, go ahead and click this uh, uh, sphere right here, and go ahead to these presets. Go ahead and select this yellow one right here, and go ahead and put the glow all the way up. And then you're going to click the back, so the 3D part, click that sphere again, click the yellow, but for the base color right here, you're going to want to click red. And I'll show you why you're doing this. Uh, make sure you put that glow all the way up. And yes, it's going to be not visible. Um, we're almost ready to be done with this part. Cat shadows and cast shadows need to be off. And now we're ready. So right click that layer. Quick render 3D layer. Now depending on your PC, this might go fast, this might go slow. 
Uh, my PC is just a little older, so it takes a few minutes, but I'll be back to you when it's done. Uh, make sure you don't click anything. Uh, it can cause Photoshop to freeze up. So uh, just let it do its thing, and once you're done, I'll show you what to do. All right, now that that's done, it took about five minutes or so. Um, you're going to go over to the layer, right click, press Rasterize 3D. There we go. So you have two options right here. I'm going to show you the uh, easiest way to do it. Um, so I already have a PSD file set up. This is a preset. I have all the uh, effects and everything I use. Um, so, you know, ideally you want to have one of these. Uh, but if not, here's what you do. We're going to just do a solid black background. Go ahead and go to your sidebar, select your shape tool, hold down for the rectangle tool. Make sure it's black, no stroke. We are just going to make a background. Go ahead and drag that layer under it. And you'll see now what I was talking about. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to our quick selection tool. Uh, there's a reason we made the yellow uh, 2D and the red 3D. And that's so we can select, uh, quick select the yellow. So we go right here. You're going to uh, select it, right click, layer via copy. Go back down to layer zero, right click. So we're selecting the different parts of yellow. This has three parts right here. It has the logo, then uh, the semicircle. We have two of them, so you're going to again select that. Right click, layer by copy, go back to layer zero, and now we'll select the bottom. Select, right click, layer by copy. Now for these, if we turn this off, you can see that's really just the 2D part. Um, on the main logo, so go to layer one, we're going to get rid of this red right here. Delete. 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 Same over here. All right. So now this is a tool I use a lot. It's not a tool, it's just hold shift and all the layers you want to select. You start out with the bottom layer. You hold shift, you click the top, it's going to select all of them at once. Go ahead and right click those selected layers and go to merge layers. Now you'll see we have our 2D and 3D. Uh, you're going to want to click layer 0, which is our 3D layer. Go to blending options, color overlay. We're going to make it somewhat of a darker gray. Our 2D, which is layer 1, we're going to uh, do the same thing. Go to blending options. We're going to make it a lighter gray. So just like that. Okay. Now we're going to rasterize these layers. Um, so how you do that is you go right clicking the layers, you're going to rasterize layer style, go down to the other one, rasterize layer style. While we're at it, let's rename them, 2D, 3D. Now you'll see we're starting to get somewhere with this. Um, next part is you're going to want, and this is really, you experiment with this, but you're going to want to get the blending options right. So go ahead, we're going to start off with the 2D layer. Right click, go to blending options. The things I always add, um, you're going to do a little bit of inner glow. Uh, not like that though. Just solid white. Okay, just a little bit. You can even follow exactly what I did. Now you mess around with inner, inner shadow. I always add some drop shadow. Then you can mess around with the bevel too. 
main reason I would do this, and normally you would want to clean it up a little better. You would uh, not want to leave it like this. This is a little messy. Uh, you can see right there. If you do want to try and get rid of that, you mess around with the inner shadow. A lot of times uh, you want to put the sides down. The distance down. So yeah. Uh, outer glow is another one I like to mess with, but uh, we're done with that. Make things easy. We're going to copy the layer style of the 2D and then uh, paste layer style onto the 3D. We go to the 3D. Going to add some uh, satin. Make it black. Get, you can keep the glow, get rid of the shadow. All right. Next is our name. All right. And next is our picture. We'll, uh, we go back to Opera. like these these always look nice go ahead and pick one out this one looks pretty cool high quality go to file place embedded we'll add it as a background first go ahead and duplicate it put it in the background Right above that rectangle we made in the beginning. And then you're going to, to bond it to the logo, you're going right click. And choose create clipping mask and you'll see what that does there. Uh, the logo is a little small, so we're going to make it a little bigger. You're going to shift click both layers. And just, oh, whoa, no, no, not that. They always update Photoshop and change everything about it, so I'm always, you know, <laughs> kind of confused how to handle it. Uh, Okay, go ahead and drag that same layer, we're going to duplicate it, press OK, and we'll put it on the 3D too. Again, right click, create clipping mask, let's go back down to that the uh, background layer, make it a little darker, and then let's edit our name a little bit too. Make it a different font. That one's fine. Uh, edit, transform. Let's get it correct. All right. Now for the fonts. You know what? There's an easy way to do it. We're going to go to our 2D layer. Copy the layer style. Select the name. And uh, we'll paste it. And from there we can mess with the settings a little bit on that too. Always good to add some warp, some text warp, add a little bit of an arc. Go ahead and bring it down. And then from now it's easier to actually edit the uh, logo itself because we have everything, we have the background and everything. You can go ahead and add some outer glow. Like I said, from here you can just kind of mess with things a little more. Go to our 3D one. See the outer glow as well. 
we do want it to be white most of the time. there we go um, that's how you do it that's how you make your own you know team PSD um, ideally you know this is how you do it from scratch so if you go to like this one I have a lot of stuff here to mess with and I've linked this in some of my past videos if I'm not mistaken I have I've linked my old team logo with this in it so if you want feel free to download it's not mine it's been passed down to like several people throughout the years that's the best one so but this is how you do it from scratch so uh, I don't really know what videos to make so let me know if you guys want to see anything um, ideally you want this to be more polished I kinda did it quick uh, just to get the you know tutorial quick and done but Ideally you want to be more polished if you were to do something like this. You don't want these edges and stuff on it. A lot of teams will do that. Uh, they'll uh, get a designer to make a really good PSD and then they stick with it. Some teams, uh, <laughs> you know, they'll have you make a logo from scratch, make the PSD, and you don't want to look like this. This looks like shit in all honesty, so... Anyway, if you guys like the video, please enjoy. I should be doing some different stuff soon, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.